A mother will do anything for her children. With the exact words several people used to describe Femi Fanny Coyote and his ex-wife, Precious Chukwendu's newfound mutual relationship. While some believe the couple were fighting like cats and dogs in 2021 can set aside their differences for the sake of their young children, others believe they are on the road to getting back together, especially after these photos circulated on social media. Precious Chukwendu, who cried bitterly last year for not being able to see her children, was full of joy and happiness in June of this year when she was allowed to see her children finally. Announcing her good news, the 33-year-old Anambra Beauty said FFK had a change of heart and is now working on a peaceful co-parenting agreement to ensure their children have a balanced love and affection from both sides. So far, everyone following this story and her fans are equally excited to hear the new development. However, some are incredibly skeptical about the ex-minister's sudden kindness. Is FFK a changed man for allowing his ex-wife to see her children? Or is it all politics? Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. Nigerian celebrity couples fighting over custody of their children have become popular in the past decade. But the one going on between ex-minister of aviation Femi Fani Kayode and his ex-wife Precious Chukwendu has been the loudest we have ever seen. Nigerians' attention was drawn to the sad case in 2020 when Precious could not stop crying on social media over access to see her kids. The ex-beauty queen got married to the former minister in 2014. Despite being the fourth woman to be married to the popular politician, Precious gave him four beautiful boys, the first he had in 2015, followed by triplet in 2018. Sadly, whatever love and affection between them came to a dead end in August of 2020 after the Anambra beauty ran away from his Abuja home with nothing but clothes on her back and filed for divorce. In several Instagram posts, the former Miss United Nations accused her estranged husband of verbal, emotional and physical abuse and called him several unprintable names, including a monster. During an interview with Chude Gideonwo in December of 2021, Precious said that FFK suffers erectile dysfunction and their kids were conceived via IVF, adding that her marriage with Mr. Short Fuse was strictly based on an agreement. But when she ran away, his ego was ruptured and he chose to punish her by keeping her children from her. As a result, the poor mother of four has been in and out of the courtroom trying to get joint custody, but the ex-minister who has connections disobeyed the court orders. FFK accused her of living bipolar and being a danger to herself and the kids. When this narrative did not work, he had her docked on charges of false publication and attempted murder with a kitchen knife. But after crying her eyes out on social media later in December of 2021, the ex-beauty queen gained public sympathy with many trending the hashtag Justice for Precious, which later saw many celebrities raise their voice to support a fight to see her children. At a time when fans had given hope that FFK would ever do the right thing, the warring ex-lovers have finally squashed their beef and embraced peace for the sake of the children between. On June 4, 2022, Precious made this known to fans in an Instagram post where she shared a beautiful photo of herself in a car and wrote, The way to slay to a playdate with your sons. FFK, nice. While fans rushed to congratulate her for having access to her kids for the first time in two years, others bashed her for complimenting the man she once called a monster for doing the right thing. In a post on June 5, the 33-year-old beauty addressed those bashing her with an explanation of why she chose peace. Precious said that as a mother, her greatest prayer is being able to hug her kids, play with and spend time with them. She added that this new development is a win for both parties because she has gone from not seeing them at all in two years to spending a few hours with them and caring for one that is ill. The mother of four also defended the ex-minister, stating that he has had a change of heart and is now working out a peaceful co-parenting agreement so their children can have balanced love and affection. Precious is seemingly not the only one happy about the new development. Still, FFK who shared photos of her visit hours later confessed that it was indeed a surreal and historical moment when his ex-wife reunited with their kids, adding that they laughed, talked and shared some beautiful moments together. Lauding the unison as the dramatic return of a great and beautiful queen, he wrote, This was such a moment that light overcame darkness and the secret prayers of four handsome little princes were answered. Our hearts warming.
but fans are not convinced FFK's heart of stone has really been softened. They think it may have to do with politics. Talking about politics, it's not news that FFK, Wu's former boss, Olusegun Obasanjo, said it would be found anywhere there is food, decamped to APC in September of 2021. The 61-year-old politician, who claimed to have been led by the Spirit of God, was received by Buhari after joining the ruling party. Certain reports added that his decision to leave PDP borders on the presidential ambition he has been nursing and praying for a long time. You know what the person does, the rules. The party's primary election has been done and dusted, and FFK ambition was thrown out of the window. In fact, he has not even been considered for the vice president ticket. As if that isn't enough, the lawyer has been reduced to a lackey, doing boy boy for his northern colleagues. People following the child custody battle with his ex-wife claim this may have calmed the politicians, leading to the recent gesture of kindness towards his ex-wife. As a mother, your children will always be your weakness. You will play to any gallery to be with them. I just hope things won't go back to cat and mouse after the elections because we know what this is," says at Fabulous Gloria on Instagram. With these statements, you can see a whole set of people who believe that FFK is being humble because of the 2023 election. This could not be far from the truth because based on his write-up about making peace, it looks like the politician is eyeing and hoping to attract a fat position since becoming the president is now a distant dream. So. The question of if this is temporary or permanent remains debatable. Once again, we guess time will tell. What do you think about Femi Fani Kayode allowing his ex-wife access to their four children? Do you think he is really tired of keeping the children away from their mother? Would you say he is doing it for his children and giving them back the motherly love and warmth he denied them? Lastly. Do you think the former Minister of Aviation is truly a changed man after members of public opinion taught him a lesson that resulted in him disabling his comment section on Instagram? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.